Yo, what's up guys? In the last episode, I asked you guys if I should turn this account into PvP Locked Iron Man. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Uh, basically, a lot of people who were doing that series told me I could do it, but it would just like ruin the spirit of the series. So I'm just gonna make a new one besides this one. I'll play this one normal and make a PvP Locked Hardcore Iron Man on the site. If you guys want me to, give this video a like if you want me to do that and leave that in the comment section below. I will play this account normally, see how far I get and... I'll probably focus on the PvP locked Iron Man once I'm kind of done with this account or I die. Or I could just make two accounts at once and play them at the same time. So I just want to give you guys an heads up. Sorry if you guys, if, sorry if I let you guys down if you do want to see that. But I want to actually play the game mode fair from scratch as a level 3. Yo what's up guys, it's Sam here. Welcome to another episode of the Hardcore Iron Man series. We're about to finish all my iron bars into darts. And I'm just gonna fletch these while I'm gonna be questing. I think I have a couple more bars, but I'm just gonna save them in case I do need them for something else. Anyways, we're going back to questing. The servers are kind of bad. Uh, people have been disconnecting left and right, so I'm just gonna do some safe quests. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Unlikely Journey quest, and this episode my goal is to finish off Barrel's Gloves. Hopefully, I'm not sure how far out of my way, but it looks like we're needing 25 quest points. And all the RFD subquests. So maybe I'll finish it this episode, if not the next episode for sure. Anyways, birdhouse runtime, and then we do the quest. And there we go, Unlighted Journey quest completed. And we kind of got some XP from it. Do we get any levels from it? No, we don't. I think I'm gonna do Big Chompy hunting, questing, whatever next, because that's a subquest pre quest requirement for the RFD thing. And after that, I think I'm gonna do Edgar's Roost, which will give me a lot of herb XP. And that way, I can make prayer potions just in case I do need them. So let's go back to questing. So I had to come to the Mage Training Arena for one month run. I need it for a quest, so we finished that off. I think I will come back here in the future to do Bones to Peaches because that's gonna be helpful for God Wars. Uh, change of plans, I'm gonna do the Ice of Glove request first and that will get me a lot of runecrafting XP and if I do my Tears of Gothics, I will get more XP on top of that. And there we go, this should be quest completed. Let's see what we get. I think I have to talk to him downstairs, one sec. Okay, I have to kill one more creature. This should be quest completed. Okay, after this I'm gonna do the big champion hunting quest. And there we go, 6000 runecrafting XP, which was the... Oh, you also get 12k magic XP? Didn't even know about that. 62 magic and 25 runecrafting. Anyways, like I said, big chompy, big, big chompy bird hunting quest next. And there we go, this should be big chompy hunting quest finished. 157 quest points and not sure what I'm gonna do next but a couple quests left to do for RFD. So I was gonna keep these case for later on but I actually need magic locks so I'm gonna start opening these. I need them for the transport thing with the tree and I also need it for desert treasure. Uh, if I don't get them here I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Also kinda low on seeds so these will come in handy and the herbs as well. I'll start recording once I get something interesting. And there we go, first batch, 10 logs. I need two more, so I needed I needed one more drop and I got a couple cases left. And there we go, 18 more. That's exactly what I needed. Now I can unlock the transport thing to the Grand Tree, which is a requirement for Monkey Madness 2. And the rest I'll use for Desert Treasure. And there we go, that should be the Watchtower quest done. And we get a lot of magic XP from this. Also the teleport that unlocks, that, that you unlock with this quest. That will come in handy if I do want to come to you now. Anyways, 161 quest points. I think this is the last quest I needed for Monkey Madness 2. Do I get any levels? Nope. So all I need now, yeah, uh, this part for the barrel scores, of course, and then the stats. So my main goal is to get Monkey Madness 2 done so I can cap the gorillas and make money that way instead of doing teaming. And there we go. Quick, easy quest out of the way. Uh, Olaf's quest, which will give me 12k defense XP, I think. And that will put me on 52 and 2 quest points. So let's just quickly finish it. And this should be quest completion. Or not, do I have to speak to someone? No, there it is. Oh, we also get 20k GP, that's kind of nice. 4 rubies, that's nice for the side pendants. Anyways, only 1 quest point. Uh, I'm gonna do the rag and bone quest, because I already got the bones for that. So let's do that quest next. And that should be the rag and bone quest. I don't think it's a good reward to get from this quest, but... It's over and done, 1 quest point, 500 cooking and 500 prayer XP. Uh, I'm not sure what quest I'm gonna do next, but we'll see in the next clip. And there we go, another quest done, another slice of ham. This will get me to 44 prayer. 
which means I can use the prayer for range. I'm not sure what it's called. Eagle Eye. There we go. And also one quest point. I'm not sure if this is a pre-quest for anything, but we're only needing 11 quest points and all the sub-quests for Barrel's Gloves. But I'm going to do some extra quests that will like the ones I will need in the future. So I'll just get them over it so I don't have to worry about questing in the future. And there we go, Eagle's Peak Quest. I think you need this to catch chins. I'm not 100% sure. It was to prevent bolts from bolting chins. But anyways, two quest points at 166 quest points. And there we go, this should be the second part of the RFD part. I already did Evil Dave, so I think we have Iron Gloves. Uh, I'm gonna try and do as many as I can. I think a couple I can't do yet because I need some pre-quests, but let's see how far I get. And there we go, this should be number three. Number three. There we go. And there we go, another one done. After this, there is four left. I think I'm gonna do any levels from this. 62 cooking and that's it. I'm gonna do Pirate Pete next and the rest is kind of difficult but I'm pretty sure I can do it eventually. I'm not even sure if I can do them right now. If I can, I will. Anyways, up next, Pirate Pete. And there we go, fish cake. Make sure I don't eat it. After this, three remaining. Do we get any levels from this? No, we don't. I'm pretty sure I can do them all except this one. So I'm gonna finish these two and then buy rune gloves and then see what I need for this. I think you need 70 cooking at least. I'm not sure about the quests. And there we go. This should be the Lumbridge Guide. This was an easy one. 2500 cooking and 2500 magic XP. Two left to go. Uh, I'm gonna do Sermavic Face. I'm pretty sure this one is annoying, but let's see how it goes. Okay, forgot to record. Anyways, we finished the Sermavic Farza sub quest and we got uh, the Monkey one left. But I need 70 cooking for that, so I'll, I'm not sure how I'm gonna train that. I think through Zia, the city's house, the mess hall, I think it's called. And I'm gonna do Edgar's Roost for the 10k Robux XP now. And that will put me on 175 quest points, which is exactly what you need for Barrel Skulls. And then we have Barrel Skulls out of the way, but I still need to quest stuff like DT and a couple other quests, which will come in ample, uh, handy uh, while I'm playing this account. And I want to get the quests out of the way, except Dragon Slayer 2 and Monkey Madness 2, because I don't have the requirements for those two. But I want to have the rest done. I also have to quest Black Mask, I think. And after that, it's back to training, training Slayer and combat. And then start doing PVMing. And there we go, this should be Edgar's Roost. Let's see what levels. 40 Obro, which means we can make Prayer Potions. I got a couple of Raynars in the bank, so that will give me some Herbro XP as well. Anyways, uh, we're sitting at 173 quest points. Not sure what I'm gonna do, cooking or back to questing. I wanna get Barrow's Claws out of the way, so if I do wanna train AFK, I can train with Barrow's Claws and that will give me a lot of max hits. So change of plans. I decided to do Taibu Wano Trio quest, or whatever it's called. And I'm gonna fish Karambons instead for my cooking XP. I was gonna do Grapes or Mess Hall, but the Grapes are out of stock and the Mess Hall is kinda pointless since you already have 100% favor. And I can use the Karambos as food anyways because they heal 18 and you don't lose ticks while doing so. So that will be my best food and yeah, I'm just gonna do some EFK fishing and get myself enough fish for 70 cooking and then finish off RFD. I have enough quest points to get their barrels gloves, I just need 70 cooking to finish it off. And also I need this quest in the future anyways to be able to make Zemiastas. So I picked up a hard clue, so let's see if this is the final step. I have done five steps so far. This one is in the wilderness and no casket. I'm pretty sure we can do this easy. I'm pretty sure we completed this hard clue. Let's find out. And there we go. Moment of truth. First hard clue, casket. Pretty sure. Step five to six. Come on, I need a magic short bow or black D8. I guess... Oh, this is really good. I can just finish that quest, so that will come in handy. Runekite, that's not great. Decent alcohols. Alright guys, so we're end of money and there's two options. I can either sell the rune arrows I got from LMS. I'm deciding to sell 10k for now. I still have 30k in the bank. And I basically need 75k GP every day from miscellanea to be at max efficiency and get the most herbs and maple locks. Or I could just do thieving, but I don't really want to do thieving anymore because it's too click intensive and... I just want to focus on Slayer and make my money that way. So I'm just going to sell 10k Rune Arrows for now. And I think I have enough Karambons now. 2.4k caught. I think I need around 1800, 1900. Just in case I burn like 400. If not, I'll just fish a couple more. 
And this bird house run should get me 60 hunter, which means I can... Wait, why did I get a level? That's weird. Okay, it was kind of lagging for some reason. Uh, we can catch Eclectics, Implings without the jars, so I can just barely hand... Okay, it doesn't show it anymore. So I can just barehandedly catch it without the jars. I'm not sure how hard it is to make jars on... Or the Impling jars on the Iron Man. I think you need the Lunar's Quest to get the Hunter Kit. I'm not even sure. But I still need my U Short Bow or Medium Clue Scrolls. So after I'm done with the Barrel's Clothes, I'll work on that. Because I want to do Temple of Eikhoff and Desert Treasure. And there we go, weekly tiers of gothics. Uh, I'm not sure how much experience will get me in room crafting, probably like 8k. And that will put me at 30 room crafting. I have to train my construction because it's almost overlapping my room crafting level. But I need money for that, so I'll do that next week. Uh, anyways, 30 room crafting, 1285 total. Alright, we just finished cooking, 70 cooking. Uh, we burned 600. Managed to cook 2k, 100 left. I actually cook them at the birth of minigame place. I should have actually went to the Cities range and have 10% less burn rate, but it doesn't matter. I probably cooked like, I burned like 200 extra, who cares? Anyways, time to do the RFD part and then finish off barrel gloves. All right, moment of truth. Will I burn all three? Last time I was here, I did. All right, first try, nice. Just gonna cook the remaining two and finish this sub quest off and that will put me on 176, which means I can do the final boss for barrel's gloves. And there we go, that should be the last one. Okay, apparently you need to build the Monkey's Peak Amulet. And there we go, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a cutscene and I'll also get 10k cooking and agility XP, which will put me at 54 almost. Anyways, it's probably gonna be a cutscene, so I'm not gonna bother. Shh. Never mind. Okay, there's no cutscene apparently. 10k cooking XP and 10k agility XP. We're done. Oh, there's the cutscene. Not gonna bother showing you guys it. Anyways, I'll show you when, uh, once I'm done with the boss fight. Alright, big brain. I totally forgot you need desert treasure for the barrel's gloves. And I also need to do only Temple of Eikhoff. So I need a U... Sh no? Yeah, I need a U short bow. So it looks like I'm gonna go impl impling hunting for medium clues. Uh, or find a different way to get the U short bow. Anyways, that's the plan. And then finish DT the and then come back to get barrel's gloves. Alright, so I decided to go to the fletching round, we just got a plus 5 boost and made the U short bow. I also killed a couple of those barbarian spirits and I went right there and decided to do the fletching route. We also made 2k maple longbows which I will be alking when I'm doing agility. Anyways, time for Temple of Eikhoff and then DT. And there we go, Temple of Eikhoff done and 10k ranging speed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go, 43 range from that. We also have the short bow to train to 50 range and then we have to hope we get a magic short bow from hard clues. Anyways, it's time to do DT. And there we go, finally ancients unlocked, time to get barrel's gloves done. I'm pretty sure I got all the requirements now to do the final boss and my barrel's gloves. Make sure I switch back and see you in a bit. And there it is, barrel's gloves achieved. Let's go to the chest and quickly buy it for 130k. And I'm pretty sure you can bank this XP lamp but I'm not 100% sure. Because I want to use it on Herbro, but you need level 50, I'm pretty sure. So let's try it out. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure you can bank it. I'm like 90% sure. Nice. I'll just keep this for the one side. One side level 50. And let's buy these gloves and get it over with. Finally. Barrel's gloves achieved. 74 combat, it's time to train my stats, but I'm gonna do a couple quests I need beforehand and then I'm gonna start training Slayer. So I decided to start working on the Black Mask uh, quest requirements and this is the first one, Zogri Flesh Eaters. After that I need to do Rum Deal and I forgot the last quest. Two more quests for Black Mask, I'm gonna do a couple more, I'm gonna do Hand in the Sand, Regicide and a couple others. I wanna get the questing out of the way before I actually start training my account. Alright, and that should be a rum deal quest, and this will put me on 62 farming, uh, which means I can boost for medium contracts. Also 45 prayer, which means we can use mystic might, and 73 fetching, not sure what you get from that. Also we get the holy French, it's kind of helpful for prayer consumption. We can also farm snapdragon, that's nice. And there we go, this should be the black mass questline finished. We also get a lot of XP, putting us 54 agility, anything else? 54 smithing. And that's basically it. I'm pretty sure you also get 10k GP if you talk to him. There we go. 
Anyways, Black Mask completed. If I do want to start my Slayer grind, I want to say it's 58 Slayer, I think. I can hunt Black Mask and that will help my Slayer grind a lot. Anyways, back to questing. I'm gonna do a couple farm runs before because I unlocked farming contracts, the medium ones. I'm basically running out of seeds to plant and herb uh, for a bro. I need good seeds and I ran out. So these medium contracts are really good to get good seeds. And there we go, we just finished hand in sand quest. Might as well do this quest now to get my daily 84 pockets of sand. I'm pretty sure it's also medium diary task, which I'll be doing soon. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do all the medium and easy ones and put those lamps on Herbor XP and get the early levels out of the way. I'm not even gonna bother pronouncing this quest name, but this is a pre-quest for Dragon Slayer 2 and the agility XP is pretty nice for early levels. And there we go, this should be between a rock quest Pretty decent XP rewards, we'll take those. At early levels these quests come in handy but later on they're not really helpful. Also 5000 defense XP, I don't have to train and 5000 mining XP. Those two are important ones. The rest is just money based, like smithing you can just buy gold or... Anyways, enough talking, let's continue. And there we go, another quest done. I didn't know this quest would give me this much XP, that's pretty good. Another mining level perhaps? No we didn't. Uh, pretty decent XP, 193 quest points. Alright, I think I got really lucky getting this. This is like 1% chance of getting this. People go over 100% and still don't get it. Three things. I need this for a hard diary. I need 60% for a quest. I need 100% for the medium diary. So three things knocked down. Just need to finish off 42%. But this was basically a slow method to get the GoTuber. But since I already have it, I'm just going to do the fast method and finish this off. And there we go. That should be my arm's big adventure quest done. And this will give me 10k Herbro XP. And the farming patch that doesn't get disease, so yeah. Basically doing this for the farming XP mainly. I mean Herbro XP. Puts me on 45, which means we can make super attack potions. And there we go, the needs not quest done. I'm gonna put the XP on attack because I wanna enter the Warrior skill as soon as possible. And we get the best in slot helm until we have Black Mask for Slayer. So I'm gonna use that until I reach 58 Slayer. Any levels from this besides 63 attack? 37 construction and that's basically it and there we go this should be a soul's bane quest a long quest for a bad reward i uh, basically did this quest for a medium step in the pharaoh diaries uh, just to go down so i spent like 30 minutes doing this quest totally not worth it anyways 196 quest points all right a couple things i afk my stats at sand crabs so we can actually enter the warriors guild also leech the torso, forgot to buy it, there we go, uh, best in slot for a while. We also did a bit of agility, 56 is the requirement for regicide, so we're probably going to quest that now and roving elves after. And there we go, regicide quest done, such annoying quest without stamina, it's so annoying and low agility makes it even worse. I just kept failing, this quest probably took me over 2 hours, anyways it's done. Nice agility XP, 15k cash and 3 quest points, putting us at 199. Time to do roving else, and after that I'm doing one more quest and then I'm done with questing for now. And there we go, there should be a roving quest. I'm pretty sure I'm going for the ball because I'm gonna need that for the Monkey Madness 2 balls. I'm not running hiding, shield leash. Alright, there we go, make sure I have the right option. 10k strength XP which will put me at 69 strength. And we got the bow. I'm actually gonna go kill some elves for the teleport. So I have that farming thing unlocked for the free tree, so that's an extra tree. And this should have 500 charges for the Monkey Madness 2 boss and maybe Jet, I'm not even sure. I think I can just do ma uh, Jet with the MSB if I do get it from Hard Clue. Anyways, I got, I'm gonna do one more quest which was a Tale of Two Cats or something. Uh, it's the last requirement for Dragon Slayer 2. I just want to get that out of the way, I'm not even sure if it gives any good rewards. If it doesn't, I might skip it, but we'll see. So we're doing the client of current. I might as well unlock this fairy ring just to get here faster if I do get a hard clue or if I do want to do the Zia quest. I'm pretty sure I just unlocked it without putting anything else on top of it. Yeah, the options are here so it should be fine. Anyways, let's finish this quest. And there we go, client of current and I can put these lamps on Herbor XP. It's not much but 1k XP is better than nothing. Putting this on Piscarelius because that's the most annoying one to get the 20%. Anyways, we're done with questing, 201 quest points. I still need Lunar's Diplomacy, Dream Mentor, uh, or the Tale of Two Cats, which doesn't give any XP rewards, so I'm not gonna bother doing it now. 
And that's basically it. Those are the prereqs and Monkey Madness 2, of course. Uh, basically, did everything I want to do up until this point because I'm just going to train my account. And uh, once I have stamina or other stuff and I actually want to need to do that quest for some reason, then I'll do the quest. But for now, I'm done with questing and I want to end the episode here. And the next episode will be grinding this account, probably doing Slayer, skilling, and whatsoever. Anyways, thank you for watching, give this video a like, and uh, keep me motivated, and I'm gonna see like 300 likes, let's see if that's possible, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and see you in the next one.